when I was younger, I, I ran into uh, two sexual predators in my small Southern Baptist church. And uh, when I was 14 years old, I uh, experienced a long period of sexual abuse with my youth minister and uh, decided that I needed to take a risk and tell someone and chose to tell my pastor. And it turned out that he was also a sexual predator. And so he continued the abuse after he fired my youth minister. And then he was ultimately fired by my church because he was having an affair with my Sunday school teacher. So it was a, just a big mess for a 15 year old to get caught up in the middle, middle end. And um, so I've been um, just dealing with that throughout my adult life and, and moving on and learning to love and live with God in a, in a new way. That experience impacted my faith in a number of ways. My faith in God never wavered in any way. I knew early um, from an early encounter with God that he was greater than anybody who claims to represent him or any church that bears his name. So when that incident occurred, I recall very distinctly knowing that even though no one would believe what had happened to me, that God believed me, that he knew and that he saw me then, and I know now that he sees me now and that he's seen me through my adult life. So while my faith in God has always been a constant, um, my faith in the church has been slowly rebuilding. And this past year, working with the Southern Baptist Convention, my home denomination, and to see their efforts in trying to combat sexual abuse in the convention has really restored my faith in the church.